Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a second testimony from our viewer from YouTube, Tammy. Listen to this. I was amazed when I read this. I was like, whoa. You know how the Bible says sometimes we entertain angels underwear, unaware? Yeah, well, sometimes we entertain the demonic unawares as well. Listen. I wanted to mention something to you, though it's quite another thing altogether. It was the strangest thing I have ever experienced. I wanted to see if perhaps you have any insight with such a thing. I was at Walmart, going about my everyday life, doing a little grocery shopping, when I noticed an old woman who looked out of place as she wasn't wearing clothing typical of the United States, but looked to be wearing some robe type clothing that would be worn in Haiti or Africa or something like that. She appeared to be of Indian or Middle Eastern descent or something. I'm not really sure. She had the hooded portion covering her head. Her head was down she was walking very slowly while mumbling under her breath. She wasn't pushing a cart. She was alone. I noticed her and wanted to make eye contact with her as a gesture of kindness. So as I was passing by her looking towards her, she stopped abruptly, lifted her head while still looking straight ahead and turned and looked directly into my eyes without any hesitation or distraction she was still mumbling when her eyes met mine i felt a direct impact in my spirit that was so hard it literally took my breath away as if I had been punched in the stomach. I stood there, mouth open, in complete shock, trying to make sense out of, out of what just happened. And she simply turned her head away, looked back down, and continued walking and mumbling. This was a powerful spirit that came from her, and a dangerous one. I truly believe that had I not had the Holy Spirit in me, that I would have been possessed at that very moment. I felt the impact of the evil spirit because of the force with which it attempted to enter me. But the Holy Spirit blocked entry. Mm, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Do you know what this could have been that she was practicing? that would have had such a hold on her and such an impact on a person. Mm. I'm not even going to try to explain it, but I will say this. This is Pat's two cents. Oh, whoa. That was so powerful. I asked her permission. Please let me share this one. And she gave it. <laughs> whoa. What I Okay, I think I wrote my... I think I wrote what I said. Yes. Okay, this is what I wrote. That could have been a vessel of the devil speaking evil curses into the atmosphere of the store or even the region or the area surrounding. Thank God for the Holy Spirit in you. People are used to spreading blessings for God's sake or curses for evil. Some of us speak in tongues by the Holy Spirit. Evil messengers mumble utterances as well to contaminate and darken the atmosphere. I forgot I wrote this. And to facilitate the release of stronger demons. Listen, to facilitate the release of stronger demons onto the earth and into people's lives on a mission to destroy. She may have been a practicing witch on assignment. Mm. 
This is her response. She was definitely on assignment. I felt sorry for her though. She was consumed with darkness. I saw no human expression of emotion on her face or in her eyes. I wish people would listen to you and others like you who warn them of such things. The powers of darkness are nothing to play with. Thank you. Now, back to Pat's two cents. I'm not going to take long because that pretty much spoke for itself. That's why we need to wear spiritual armor. The helmet of salvation. The shield of faith. Loins of truth. Feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not listing them all, but, but you can read them. Listen, you guys. That's why we need to be covered in prayer. That's why we have to have a direct, sincere, holy relationship with God. I didn't say perfect because there's only one perfect, and that's Jesus Christ. But we can strive every minute, every second of every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every, every year. We can strive for perfection. And that's what God is looking for effort obedience is part of what gets people delivered disobedience is part of what allows demonic activity what allows curses to penetrate you hear me so you get in that word you get under the blood of jesus you get jesus in your heart you be filled with his holy spirit and pray Pray, pray. You hear me? God bless you. Stay on guard. Watch and pray. Be safe. In the name of Jesus. God bless you in every way.